Hello and welcome to our video where we're going to show you our flagship strategy builder for MetaTrader. So essentially it's four products in one. So first of all it's a trade panel. So if we go to config, we've got things like we've got like a hidden virtual stop loss, we've got lots of calculation methods available, even can come from a custom indicator, or you can select fixed pips as well. And that shows you this uh, stop loss on the chart. We've got uh, the risk setting where it's calculating the lot size for you. And again, you can just go to there, risk lots. And it's risking 2% uh, of your account per trade, but you can put in a fixed amount or you can select a fixed number of lots as well. And then it's got a very flexible take profit regime as well. If you go to config take profit, at the moment it's set into exit at a 1.2 risk reward ratio, but you could have something more sophisticated than that. You could have like three exit levels, so you could exit on the first level, perhaps 0% exit, but you could get it to set for break even, let's say. Then on the second target, you could get it to exit 50%, and then on the third target, which would be like a three risk reward ratio, you could then get it to exit 100%. So it's a very uh, flexible system. We've also got the one click trading button. So if you wanted to take this trade with the particular uh, stop loss, just click the buy button. And that uh, dotted line turns into a dashed line to show that it's active and the same on the take profit. We still do set a broker stop loss, but it's a configurable distance further away from the hidden level. Also got the close button now appears and you could do a partial close if you wanted to. And we also support scaling. So if you wanted to add to your position, you could open an additional ticket. And the system will also log all the trades and log like slippage and execution time. And we've also got robust error handling as well. The second part of the system is the configurable automation, which effectively allows you to convert indicators into an EA. So you can use standard indicators or also custom indicators, even those where you've just got the EX4 file or those purchased from market. And then based on those indicator values, it can open trades, close trades, it can set the stop loss, take profit and so on. We also have a library on our website of all the various configuration rules that are available. Uh, if you go to runwisefx.com forward slash CSA, you get our library. So you've got various uh, settings for custom indicators and standard indicators. But there's additional rules as well. Is like we've got these filters where you can get it to uh, avoid uh, opening a trade just before a news event, for example. We've got um, rules for on the exit side, so you can exit just before a news event, or exit all your trades when the market close just before the market closes on a Friday, uh, or you can exit when your account reaches a particular equity target, for example. We've got things like that, and you can even add in additional functionality. So for example, here we've got a close all trades button. So this is going to close all trades on the account. And it's very easy to get this configuration actually into the EA because we've got these quick load codes. So we've got this BI-CA for this rule. So all you need to do to actually get it to uh, download into the EA is just click config and then just type in that quick load code, which was BI-CA, click download. And what it's going to do is go off to our server, get that configuration and download it into the EA. And you can see now in the trade rules control section of the panel, it's added this close all trades button. And then if you change your mind, if you didn't want it anymore, you could go to config and there's tools and there's like a remove download configuration. So just type in the quick load code again and we do have a remove facility if you change your mind about something. So it's all very configurable. The third part of the system is we've got real-time statistics where what it'll do, it'll look at what it's currently configured with in terms of what indicators it's capturing and so on, and then it'll calculate the profit and drawdown, and it'll also take into consideration the current stop-loss settings, take profit, and even trading hours. And this is much faster than using the strategy tester. So let's see it in action. So what we can do is go to config, then we've got this activate strategy builder mode. So that, what that's going to do now is run through whatever strategy is configured and calculate some statistics. Now we've not currently got any indicators configured, so there's nothing there for it to trade on. But what we can do is if we go to config, we've got uh, indicator values to capture. So what we can do is to set something up. So we'll put in a moving average cross. So we're just putting a little reference. 
So we'll do a moving average cross, so you can just select there, and we've got a list, because it's a standard indicator, you can just select it directly from within the product. And the inputs by default, it's a period of 8, crossing period 24, exponential moving average, obviously you could edit that if you wanted to. And it's going to work on the current uh, chart time frame, but you could actually set it for a different time frame if you wanted to. And then if you click Save, what it's going to do now is it'll go through the chart, and calculate all statistics based on that moving average. But it's not just calculating it on this chart, we've actually got the strategy builder running on these other symbols and time frames, so it's calculating on there as well. So as soon as there's configuration change, whatever setup you've got, it'll recalculate. And there you can see we've got the results. So we've got the profit and the drawdown. Obviously, it's just a moving average cross, so it's not particularly sophisticated. And then at the, at the bottom, it's showing you the transition where you've got the moving average cross. And it's showing you the trades that have happened. So it's the this like dashed dotted part is the stop loss. We've got the open price. We've got the closed price. We've got it to exit when the indicator goes in the other direction. And then the number there is the profit in percentage terms and then it adds all that up and it's doing over 414 trade days and that is configurable if you go to config strategy builder you can set how many bars it should go back or you can set that in terms of days now as mentioned we've got the results calculated on the other charts as well and what we do we've got a great feature we've got this show other chart results and that will look at those other charts and order it on profits so it'll show you the most profitable ones at the top and the time frame as well so what we can do now is to improve the strategy by adding in an additional indicator. So if we go back to our library, and we've got the uh, custom indicator settings, so if we go to that page, so we've got settings for various custom indicators, we've got some free ones, which are very good, that are available for download, and we've got like the download links, and also paid for custom indicators, including those purchased from uh, MetaTrader Market, and we're adding to this list all the time. Let's go to one of the free ones. We've got a good one here, the non-repainting super trend. So obviously you have to make sure you've downloaded it and, and installed it as you normally would. And then these quick load codes give you the actual configuration that you need. So you can just select the code and just copy it. And then you can go back to the system and just type in or just paste that code in. Click download. So what it's doing now, it's uh, downloaded the configuration for that indicator, which is already installed on this system. And it's going to recalculate the statistics. So it's combining now that moving average with this super trend indicator. And again, it's doing it on the other chart. So you can see all the results are filling in from all the other charts. So they'll all be calculating away as well. So this is all very quick, much faster than using the strategy test. So this would take for ages using the MetaTrader strategy tester on all these different symbols. Um, so as you can see, it's dramatically improved the situation. We've got a big improvement there. Uh, we've got a uh, good improvement on the average prop. So you've got the average down at the bottom, so that's improved by 69% on average. And we've also improved the drawdown, so that's come down as well. If you make a configuration change that actually makes things worse, so if this was to turn orange and uh, the profit was to go down, you can just press the revert button and it'll go back to the previous configuration. Okay, so the final part of the system is the automatic optimization. So let's just have a little look. Um, let's have a look at something like the stop loss. So at the moment we've got a stop loss, we're using ATR, but there's all different properties of the ATR. There's also all sorts of different calculation methods, or you could have fixed pips. So rather than trying all these out, you can even add like a little extra offset, add an extra pip to the calculated value. So there's a lot of options there and trailing the stop loss. So rather than manually going through all of these, we've got this auto optimize stop loss. So if you press that, what it's going to do is just do a little recalculation, just so it's got like the baseline. And then it's going to go into the optimization mode. So what it's doing now is going through all those various options. Now it is going to take it a while to do. We've got the progress there, but it's something you could leave running. And we've also got an option to do the configuration, sorry, to do the automatic optimization over the weekend. So if you did that tick, it would do it over the weekend. There's also buttons to do 
optimize the whole system. So this at the moment is just doing the stop loss. And it's a similar story on the take profit. There's an optimization function there where it'll try all those partial closes that I showed you before. It'll try those, see which is going to be best. And also under configuration, indicator values to convert capture if you look at something like that moving average cross you can see there's all the different inputs there so again you can actually set all the various it'll go through min and max uh, values on those different inputs and just step through those so it can just try those and all what it's trying to do at all times is to improve the profit but never at the expense of drawdown so it's not going to register an improvement unless profit's gone up yet the drawdown has actually improved and then when it's completed the optimization it will save the results to file automatically and it does this on a per symbol time frame basis because each currency pair or other symbols you don't have to it doesn't have to be currency pairs they all have a different characteristics and different personalities so it'll just save it on a per symbol and per time frame basis Okay, we've got lots of other features as well. If you notice in our library, we've got this Windows GUI application that you can download. And what it is, it's a Windows application that the EAs connect to automatically. And it can show things like the news events, which you could move on to a separate monitor if you want to. It uh, allows you to manage multiple accounts and you can set uh, profit targets on the whole account. You can control all the different EA instances from there. You can also um, control individual EAs from here. So it's a very powerful system and look at all the trades, just like within the Windows environment. It's even got an improved alerts uh, pop-up as well. And so, for example, if you go to Config, Tools, do a test alert. Check alert on your own. So there on the Windows application, which you could obviously have running on a separate monitor. And it's an improvement because it shows you the price that it alerted at and how many pips the market's moved. Uh, also on the subject of alerts, um, at the moment the system will just alert you. But to actually get it to trade automatically, because you, you know once you've configured everything, uh, you can just set to trade continuous, and that will actually now start opening trades when you get a fresh signal. We also support semi-automatic trading as well. So if you go to Config Display, and you can put this auto mode onto the panel. So basically now you've got two auto modes for each direction. So these are all your sell controls, these are all your buy controls. So what you've got the option now is to get it to just trade as a one-off. So just trade once and then just go back to evaluate mode. So now all it's going to do is open when you get the next buy signal, but wouldn't open on a sell signal. So you can do that. You can also even get it to open set up pending orders when you get an alert signal rather than opening a trade. So you can just get a few extra pips confirmation before it opens the trade. Also, some traders may want to make adjustments to trades. They may want to perhaps set for break even or perhaps adjust the take profit. Uh, so we do support that kind of thing as well. Again, to display, you can go to um, to set the uh, stop loss take profit controls on the panel. Click save again. So now we get more controls appearing. Again, these are all for the sell controls and buy controls. So now you can make adjustments on the fly to the stop loss. So if you wanted to just trim the stop loss down a little bit from what's being calculated as a one-off thing, you can just there change it to 20 pips, for example or you could uh, change the stop loss to manual mode and start moving the line on the chart perhaps it'll recalculate the take profit for you and you can set up pending orders now as well with this option so if you wanted to uh, support uh, pending orders where it will activate when it reaches the price reaches the line but also when the candles closed above or below the line so to do a pen pending order you just move the line on the chart and it'll automatically switch to either the uh, sort of limit or stop type so you can just move it around and it'll change to a limit type if it's uh, below the current price and so on so there is a lot of functionality obviously it's all in our manual so don't i don't want to uh, panic you or anything there's, there's there's plenty of explanation i've got other videos as well that go th through things in more detail 
Well, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please email us support at runwisefx.com.